melanin, a beauty that should be accepted in virtuous notability, but when tied to one colour in the form of man, a mind ponders, are they the masterpiece or are they the workings of a great pain waiting to occur or are they merely another statistic? A stare. Please help me to come upon thy favour. Calm souls is the way to confront thy present situation. Me not need to anger thyself over a stare. But can I? One man. One man. Look over and by default did see this lady. Oh, shut thine lips and refrain thy tongue. Angel, why doth every spit of thy lip maketh me quiver with atrocious anxiety? Has one forgotten that envy has cursed thine heart? <sighs> nay once, nay twice, but thrice hath one cheated upon thee and thy loyal favour. <sighs> that feeling which exceeds many a man in his truest form. Fear, not only thine self, but against the form of being that cameth out of thy rib, in which we call woman, yet a mistress. Duly utter not a single word in thine falleth from thee. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. My knees are statured in this golden place, I kid you not. Imagine a picture manifested within thine own man cannot comprehend. That lip doth taste so sweet, can speech so bitter, all knowing that thou is beside me, not beneath me. Wait, Nolo. Aren't thee surprised? How can I be entered within thine heart and there remain, when it's worth cut, taketh away, and have no belief in thee? And tis an evening to be ruined by words from a destructful goat with a tongue as sharp as... Holdeth on. What does thee sayeth? Oh, mine own, if it be true, thou art speaking to me. I shall not allow such a ruin to take place in this humble abode. So make haste and removeth thyself. I have snake cubiculo for your treason here. Treason? <laughs> My love. One merely walked in, and a stare was shared. By default, I must add. Tis not my fault that a lady as I can capture his mind. A man of such portion and persuasion. Even whence this man be assisted by an ugly, Vicious, venomous toad as his false love. <laughs> Can thy woman not make a great stead and jest with joyous laughter in a setting amongst animals and carcasses alike? <laughs> and yet, tis greeted by a minuscule matter of a woman whom by the simplest moment is so nimble footed. I pity thee, treacherous. Many a true word hath been spoken in jest, but one is not nimble-footed, nor more misunderstood. My love, there is no feelings to withhold. One have daily struggle and still. Do I want to break my own head with this?
can thou not see these eyes placed upon thy face? What must one do? Blink eyes so heavy, fluttered, and remove thy vision. Nala, I didn't come to this lodging to be spoken in a manner where thou hast oppressed thee. But to be as excited and to speak to my own fellow. Instead, ridiculed by the one I call if mine. Errors made in the past time, I do so gravely regret. Can thou not see we have a love between us so real? One is flawed with storms and grizzled skies, yet a travelling lamp shines over. a piece of work is man, how noble in reason, how infinite in faculty, in form and moving how express and admirable, in action how like an angel. Kings rise, a brotherhood, a friendship with kindred spirits embedded amongst souls of love, strength, respect, honour, loyalty and compassion. Tis the form of an angel, an attendant with a voice so quaint, a mere mortal in all their wonders. Yet the question remains, through all the aptitudes, the squalls, the neptimisms, we ask or were, what is a man? As I stand here in shock and disbelief, I thought I was kidding me. What's the law is thy gents? <laughs> Time of far been long. <laughs> As the other were word, thy speech tells no lie. Seems as if we've never been departed. Mm -hmm. It's been one year for my chambers now. These cages that close, tis nowhere for a man to be locked within. Many forget you walk in and we're left without. There's nay family, nay cater cousins, being watched upon from dawn to dusk, being told which hour went to sleep. Nay, life, just thee, thy cell, thy cell, companion. Where yon becomes cousins of foe, thee can never bid. Food which cannot nourish or replenish thy course. Yet since my departure, tis has given one a new lease in life. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good evening, sirs. Uh, evening. evening. Go over yonder, make suit with the ladies. It's amazing how they are set a new lease in life. Mm. I rate thee highly for not glorifying the wrongdoings once made, but allowing others to learn from them. A man simply cannot stand. He leads, he paves, he builds, and he grows. So with the sweet fruit that bear, let us make sure thou stayeth out this time. <laughs> <laughs> Tis true. Freedom is the power or right to act, speak, think as one would want in the state of neither being imprisoned or enslaved. So please stay free, yeah? <laughs> Gabriel, I posted thee a question. How art thou and your wife? One is well with thee and thy jointress. I could not let a woman of praying heart wander beside me as but a girl. But every day I am still learning. As a father too, you know, coming from a household with a father once removed, grateful to be rooted to the ground, vast of thorns, to now rest in a bed of roses. Truly, <laughs> blessed. <laughs> Already, this conversation bringeth true enlightenment. We must take time in these deep conversations, my brothers. Moistness does set upon the cracks on walls. But nay, valorous for thee, G. I'm not one for feather bed myself. A gentleman like I does not like to be sweated upon. A woman should not haste thee. A woman hath to have a sincere heart and knowledge to become thine jointress. Not only by beauty as radiant as the sun, but her soul shineth like the ray. Yes! Doth thee understand? <laughs> a man's life can be spiral, whether a woman's in it or not. 
But if I'm true love... Still looking for... Dang. Jay, how is that daughter? Where is just that young lady now? Eight? Nine? Jasper Julius Sherwood the third. Oh. <laughs> Jasper Julius the <III>. third. <laughs> that was not heard that name in years of far. When a man speaks, we as women must be moulded to listen. But now I see you for the glory you most sincerely are not. I brand you, liar. Thou told me that thy princess could not be taken intended for after the present day, as thee had an evening appointment to went to. Uh, well, thou sees you did not. This is the thing with all you men, and seeing as I have wandered far from the race that many say doth divide, thy dream not be the statistic, yet thee liveth up to the name. Tis reminds me why thou hast not yet conquered. Thou cheats, lie, lays, hurt, confront, betray one another, and you, my dear Jay, as a working man with but one dream, no countless dream, your light is still as dim as the day you were born. <laughs> Wasteth, sir. Ha! <laughs> the day God will judge me, eh? I will say I spoke of something far more noble. Hark thine ears and close thy lips. You no disrespect, my dear friend Jay, but woman, thou art surely clueless. My dear foolish woman, take a look at what have entered thy womb and what have been produced. That baby thou didst carry, her roots are firmly deepened. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Excuse me, nay. One hath mastered thy look, now master thyself. Do not dare to come in mine home with thy disgraceful lack of knowledge. Do address thyself better. The colour of thy skin doth define, but get to know mine own integrity. Judge thy on that, and that alone. Dost thou understand? Many cannot comprehend that we images of colour are a part of the human race. Tracy, one must think swiftly before opening thy mouth. Do not paint all with that same brush, but one must ponder with so much anger and hatred within thine heart towards the colour of his skin. Do you truly look at your child the same way? Unless the magic of melanin no longer seems real. Encamped, surrounded, the man is far too tired and weary. How can one simply venture in thy land but because the colour of his skin is the shade of the sun when sitting in the evening or as dark as the night sky, we are classed suspect. But when thine heart is plucked like loose string, and dealing with this issue of a male with the same justification set upon a different story, you get tired. Nay, not everyone's life is picture perfect, but so many make an excuse. Woman, hold thy tongue. Let us come out to discuss these matters further. Embarrassed by I, who have birthed thine offspring, mother of thy own seed, Fine, be that way. But when thy laid beside thee, twas good enough, wast I not? Tracy, if thou hast issue with thee, then keep it with thee. Doth not need to display amongst thine brothers. As I had said many a time, this shall be as to square, I shall not be fighting on thy corner for. Why doth at every moment I have to walk in the imprint of thy footsteps to see if thou is lying or speaking truth? Thine heart is broken. Thou left me on my own, slumbered with child, marched out of my abode before I could even utter one single solitary word. Those who guard their lips preserve their lives, but for those who speak rashly will come to ruin. Do not speak lies unto me to present me as a father that brings forth such pain. Reside beside our daughter, one does. If you recall, my leaving was not thy own fault. Correctly spake, twas my own demise that left me in ruin. The vanity I am sorry for, the promiscuity furthermore. Yet who doth support our offspring financially? Because whilst you, sir, are out chasing petty dreams, tell me, can I feed with her with thou love? Let me speak, Tracy, and thou wilt listen. Lest you forget one only hast one mind, one course, one life. Thou knowest one fights to create this pathway for our daughter. 
to show her that in life there will be moments of decline, but nay, ever give up. One is doing what one can in a world that responds with an unkind nay. Questionable. I do give every single thing to our precious daughter, yet thee? Instead of demanding wage, happily tis time taketh upon thy passion and alloweth us to support one another. Furthermore, let me speak to thee about colour. From the fairest to the darkest, all tis quaint. I uphold my queens, as I did to you also. Woman, how dare thy speaketh against thee on something you know nothing about? Our ancestors were true greats, who in grave oppression did speak up and out for what they too believed in, to pave a way for people like thee. These greats you uphold, ye knoweth I doth admire, as I have true greats also. When thy speaketh word against me, know that I to speaketh power. So recall that truth and remove thyself from thine own presence and alloweth us to break of our family matters at a more agreeable hour. I do confess that words I could not have said better myself. <laughs> One of the many favours of the Lord is peace and long suffering. And thus I pray that God doth strengthen thy limits accordingly, whilst I shall pray for both thee and Tracy. Especially Tracy. <laughs> Brother Marcus, thou art looking well. And thine art well, growing in both faith and favour. Tis been hard. But thy brothers knoweth how it hath been. <laughs> Thou wast the sir. <laughs> From dealing the pits of substance that's taken lives, to the consumption of narcissistic evils that's taken thy soul. Was sudden to the deepest despair of thy mother, taken with wings to heaven. Yet, as one does understand, when thou came out the dwelling, you, sir, flipped the script. <laughs> Though we did call your name amongst the mighty hills and deep valleys, thou wouldn't heart one single word. I recall the time in Ungoli hour. I did see D lay lifeless across the street. Mine own brother, mine own friend. <laughs> thou has come a long way. <laughs> thou mind was tainted, lost, pained, and yet understand now, brothers, as calm as the sea, I can clearly state that goodness and mercy has followed thee. Lest we forget, we as men have a pride that stirs in us. A man cannot be broken. We must not break. We have to be the head and not thy tail. The protector, the provider, the patronage. A man must be unquestioning in his identity. Okay, 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 but if there is no neck to question it into the one true way, then what does one do? When thy head is being wavered into temptations, distress and distractions of thy world, where does one go? Thus, as to the reason for the path that I have chosen, was to stare into thine own mind and seek change. Understand now, brothers, the question came about many a time where I did look upon the heavens above and ask, why hast thou overlooked me? <laughs> but yes, the untimely passing of my mother did bring about a devastating demise, but it led me to my single most gracious victory. Marcus. I am full of joy thee has found favour in something tis holds most wondrous understanding, merit. But I must digress. For those who hath been killed, life taken for no reason. Mine own in horn was savagely cut to his death. Educated, loved, has potential and a non stolen, snatched, murdered. Pray pardon me yond, and I beg, please tell thee why. Speak what we feel, not what we ought to say. My deepest condolence is mine own dearest brother. Trust in me, I understand the hurt and the pain that thou once felt as my own mother was taken from me. But I cannot give thee the answers why the rain doth fall on the just and the unjust. Yet snatched at such a tender age. If thee wanteth answers, thy needeth to seek God thyself. 
Oft questions are not for answers to be given to, but seeking God? Seeking God shall giveth thee enlightenment. Giveth enlightenment to a circumstance that hath no true depiction. These children, as that is what they are, they find some reason to break bread on their territory where thou landmark doth not stand. Yet we the fools, the elders, we hand them these so-called platters by lifestyle in a fast measured certainty. Instead, we do not show these youths that longevity is through positivity and education. Amen. Hard work. Amen. Blood. Amen. Passion and sweat and sometimes even tears. Yet lest they not know. God has given thee the answer to thy question. We must simply improve. I concur. They take of their lives not realizing them babes themselves, they're actually killing their own. We must merely have to question, what's he about that life? Very much and truly, thy put thyself in circumstances will only turn around on thee tenfold. Choices. It is true. Train a child in the way they should depart. So when they discover themselves old, they will not depart from it. Sometimes one must create to attain success. Truly, thee have made positive changes to the outcome of thy lives. Tis of great admiration. A man to recognize change is needed and to discover when thou can change. <laughs> Tis true. And the same to you, my brother. Thou has achieved what thou has always sought out to do. In hindsight, pursue thy happiness. Do not speak. Nay, nay, nay. Do not utter a single word. How dare you walk the streets like your comeuppance isn't against thee? Thy has brought utter travesty into thy life. I capture now what rightfully belongs to thee. Revenge! A right is a language of the unheard. You think you could lead me to a destructive demise and seek thee after? <laughs> Calamity plays, but I am not one to be played. To be or not to be, Big L, that is the question. I ask of thee this day, remove this facade of calm soul with which you seek to portray. As it stands, I feel such joy that it is I that will taketh thy life. Like thou hast taken mine, thou hast taken all from thee. It is gone too far. Thou hast taken my career, my dreams, Robbed of good life and good stead. Name tarnished in the eyes of those raised so highly upon the altar. Yet now all I see is that money was what they sought after. <laughs> However, this pitiful peasant owes thee and I will reveal to his friends and family alike the person that he really was. And that's the message to brothers and kings you want to deliver. To be a person of ruin. Destruction, to kill another, to take a life, to simply create in you a congratulatory spirit amongst friends and foes alike. But to live with that, that's the ruin you will have to confront. That's what you want. That's what you want. L, L, L. Give me the knife. Give me the knife. Give me the knife. It's not positive. Why? In fact, this is beyond idiotic and foolish to seek you. Why? Thou understand, but a fool I was so early in dying youth. Bitterness and vengeful ways to not carry. I am but a man now. If many knew the validation they seek is between himself and God, they will surely move different. That's why you can't let the system rejoice. Tell us you cannot win. But why the change? Because I'm a man now. I know who I am. Art, a creation so truly outstanding and sonnet, 
seeking refuge in our innermost desires, embracing love in thine heart. <laughs> Yet, through all the golds, mahoganies, ebonies and coals that glisten, lest us not judge the man by the cover he may walk, but more so for the soul he may carry. The problem lies not with the colour of thine skin, but resides within the mind. Let us be the key to unlocking thoughts to equality. Only then can we change the world for the better. As that journey begins, let us uncover the man and embrace. Love the melanin and acknowledge it notably. Since today, black been a brand new black, black been a brand new black. We're still and still, still in fields. Orange be the brand new tack. They found a new way to hold a black man back, but you never found out how to hold back. But rack or hold back, you pack or hold back, she kill still. I wonder what life would have been like if our leaders hadn't got killed. If they hadn't got killed with the man and pop steel, still. I think by now we would have cut bills, trill from when they used to put us in chains. But I don't forget your wife, you're born to be king. Girl, you're born to be queen. You weren't born to be queen. You weren't born to be nil. You weren't born to be plain. You were born to remain the first people ever walking these plains. Cause one step from the man then was one big step for mankind. I can feel the waves, but it's time to turn the tide. See the gang make shit wavy, like Poseidon on the slab. We gon' be alright.